I want to make a quick review on this Samsung. It's not a double oven, it's an oven and a convection microwave combo. They do make a double oven version of this in the same style and model, but we opted to get the oven at the bottom and the microwave convection at the top, and I'm really, really glad we did that. So the way this works is right now, I like that it's very low profile. All you can see is the time on here. It's not a bunch of buttons lit up, but if I touch this at all, all the buttons come to life. Granted, there's a lot of glare on this right here in the video. I can see it just finds the video is showing a lot more glare than I actually see. But you have all the options for your microwave here, and then on the other side, you have all the options for your oven. There's a lot of space in this oven. The racks, of course, just like any oven, move back and forth. And you also have a reservoir up here that you can use for water to do steam cooking, which normally is only found on much higher end appliances but you can do it with this as well. We've never used that functionality. It still actually has the original tape blocking that off because we've never filled it up, uh, but that is an option if you choose to do that. And then the mic convection microwave up here, we have the plate taken off of it right now because one of the cool things about this is not only can it be used as a microwave, but you can take the plate off. There's even a rack you can put in here and then you can cook things just like you would in an oven. It doesn't spin it around, it uses the fan on the back and keeps a consistent temperature throughout the entire thing. So it works great for doing biscuits and rolls or even just holding food at a specific temperature because it can drop down a much lower temperature. I think even as low as 110, 115, you can hold food in here. Whereas the oven is gonna be a higher minimum temperature you're going to have to set. But on that note, one of the other things I love about this is that I like to cook barbecue. I'll cook pork butts and, and briskets, and I like to let those rest for a long period of time, six to 12 hours. And normally you want them to rest at about 150 degrees, 160 degrees during that time. And most ovens, if you try and hit bake on this and then set it to 150, you can see the 150 right there, hit start, it's gonna go up to 175 because that's the minimum temperature. But this is really easy to change that. So if you hit options right here, hit the number one, and then right now I've got it adjusted to negative 12 degrees. I can change this, it could be positive 12 degrees. I can just hit zero right there and it changes it back to the default. And then I hit start to set it. Um, and so that changes the adjustment it makes for the temperature. So if I set it to negative 15, if I type in 175, it's actually going to go to 160 degrees. I've used my thermometers, suck them in there to see the temperature. It holds the temperature really well. And it'll actually hit that 150 to 160 degrees continually. And I've left a brisket in there for 17 hours and it holds it at that temperature really, really well. And I have not had this option with other ovens that I've had. And so if you're looking for a great looking oven, it, easy to clean, a lot of different features, and it's basically a double oven because the convection microwave works just like a normal oven would, I highly recommend this Samsung.